What's up guys, Black Wolves and welcome back to another video and today we're back on FM21 for yet another episode of Sanyor, our last career mode and today's episode is a big one. Not only do we fight for the Ligue 1 title, we also fight for a potential qualification for the semi-final of the Champions League but that comes with a win against uh, the Real Madrid of Zinedine Zidane. It's going to be extremely tough, I know. But it's out with an away leg at Santiago Bernabeu. Hopefully, we can not get destroyed and have some hope for the away leg. Um, however, I'm going to be extremely honest with you. If I lose 3-4-0, second team will be playing. Uh, because then we'll face Marseille and PSG. And PSG is still within a shot at beating us in the league. I'm very scared. I'm not going to lie. I haven't checked the lineup. Let me just pose this real quick so I can see it. Courtois, Odriot, Zola, Militao, Varane, Juan Bernat, Casemiro, Kroos, Odegaard, Hazard, Pulisic, Haaland. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's go then. First chance of this fixture. It is for Madrid with Tony Kroos. Erling Haaland, very well challenged, uh, but the ball stays in Norwegian feet with Odegaard. Odriot, Zola on the right. Christian Pulisic. Odriot, Zola. And that is 1-0 we've conceded to a right back. Wow! Odriot, Zola, Haaland. Erling, Erling Holland hits the post. Oh my god, what are we doing? We're literally asking to, to concede now. Like, really? What have we done here? Look, what is this? Thorgun, Serra, Thorgun, Serra, Thorgun. Like, of course, at one point we're going to get intercepted. Abdul Diallo, Fran Beltran, Esiric. The which we no, we can't we can't get a pass. We cannot get a single pass in this game. It's really really sad. I mean, I expected it, but a part of me like really wanted to be able to at least fight. And right now we're not doing that at all. Odriozzo on the right hand side gets the run. Very one challenged by Tony Lato, but we're just clearing the ball and there's that we haven't been able to get a single pass. I'm repeating myself. I'm pretty sure I said that less than a minute ago, but that's true though. However, they can three nil. I went to um to only commentary. Yep, three nil made that four nil actually adding Holland. Yeah, yeah, the game's done. End of the game four nil. Yeah, not much I could say. My best player was Wilker Farines. That says a lot. My microphone was off, which is sad. Therefore, I am two nil up against Ren. Um yeah, after six minutes, we're living life, Arezzo and Boadu scored. And just in case I haven't mentioned the lineup from Ren, Lafon, Keram, Mavropanos, Van Heusen, Kaya Ayan, Okayo Kuchlu, Hannibal Lopez, Marcos Paolo, Jeremy Doku and Arthur Cabral up top, as there is yet another highlight here, this time for Ren, with Tilo Kera, Marcos Paolo, Tilo Kera. Playing it back with Costas Maropanos. They're playing a dangerous game here. Facundo Medina intercepts. And uh, he's going to be able to not find Tony Lato. Jeremy Doku with the interception. Jeremy Doku on the right hand side. Still Jeremy Doku. Maybe a cross coming in. No, a very good challenge by Tony Lato, actually. Nice. Nice one. Matias Arezzo for the counter attack. Bordu is completely. Well, he's not free, but he's got space and he's done that. Well, uh, thank you. Hannibal for Cabral. I'm sorry, but. Wilker, you really need to do better on these. The ball was yours. The ball was just yours, man. 2-1. Half time, and we are 2-1 up against Rennes. Uh, we started off quite well, but let's make sure that we don't become complacent in the second half and start making stupid mistakes like the one Wilker Farinias did to allow Rennes to make one goal back. Martin Calderon. Is that, a, is that, wait, is that the first highlight of the second half? It might be. I think it might be. Benjamin Bourgeois who just came on. Benjamin, 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 Martin Calderon. Big save by Bonafont again. Sadly, the chance wasn't this one. Uh, as long as the chance stays for us, I'm happy. Inigo Lekway switching the play to Tony Lato. Tony Lato. Come on. In the box, Martin Calderon. And Alban Lafont saves again. Wow. Five minutes to go. Maron Boadu on the ball. Valentin Seric. 
I haven't played quite deep here. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. Tony Lato and cleared. We're gonna keep the ball though. Diallo Lakeway is quite free here. Inigo. Inigo. Uh, what? Fam, what happened here then? Is that a chance for Ren after all? No, you're taking the piss. You're taking the piss, right? Oh my, that was not a pass I enjoyed. For the first time in three seasons and in 25 episodes, we're going to bring home three points after playing against Ren. Good. And PSG won against Monaco. Come on, Monaco, mate. You were so, so good for one, like, for a nice part of the season. And then you completely choked. The one time I counted on you was today. I'm going to be honest with you. A uh, game against Real Madrid. We've gone with the second team. Uh, I really thought about simulating it, but it's the Champions League. Uh, we'll play it. We'll go into only highlights. If we can not lose, that'd be good. But I'm not very confident at all here. First chance of the game, I mean, actually, no, first goal of the game. Edding Haaland, Medina literally gave the ball to Pulisic. Nice, 1 0. Thibaut Courtois, Pulisic, Haaland, 2 0. Perfect. Yep, 2 0. 3 0. We are being demolished. And Haaland scores another one, yep. What? Well, the worst thing is, yeah. I've got the same XG as they do, but three goals less. We're going to get a goal. We've got a goal. Come on, Thorgan Hazard. Michi Betri is the goal scorer here. Let's go. 3-1. Well, I mean, 7-1, I guess. Yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be. That was stronger than us. And PSG won against Damien. Therefore, uh, with everyone on 30 games, PSG is four points behind us. Back in uh, the division that we know and love, uh, our beloved Ligue 1, as we face Marseille, the Marseille of Abelardo taking uh, the place of Laszlo Bologna, who got sacked. Uh, they beat us the last time we faced them. Uh, we were 1-0 up, then they got a red card, and then they scored twice. I do not know their goalkeeper. I'm quite curious to learn more about Dimitro Riznik, and hopefully I can learn more uh, by seeing him making mistakes. I'm in key highlights, aren't I? I'm in commentary like I was against Real, for fuck's sake. I forgot about it again. Eggestein. Uh, oh, God. Matias Arezzo get the goal. Love that. Uh, let me just go back to key highlights. Perfect. 1-0 after 36 minutes. Kick us off in the second half. Uh, as per usual, we will lose the ball on said throw-in. Fran Beltran is on the, the uh, receiving end, though. Eggestein, Arezzo, Boadu, Myron, Strefetza playing on the right today because Klosterman is suspended. Okay, I'm now starting to... Wait. Own goal. I see. Bubba Kakamar just scored an own goal. Love that. Absolutely lovely. But what a save, though, by, um, by that uh, Ukrainian goalkeeper from uh, this head of Matias Sarezzo. Bojo Lato. Yeah. I mean, Lato should have scored. The good could have been his. But Kamara made sure that the ball would go in. Wilker Farin, yes. Vili Orban. Chance starting from the back here, as per usual for us. Trefetsa. Fran Beltran. For Tony Lato, very well switching the play. The, the defender has completely wrong here. Lato. And he's... Uh, well, Marseille is lucky that the cross leads to nothing. The counter-attack, though. Uh, or the second chance, sorry, should I say, is, uh, is still in the way with Johannes Eggestein. For one of his last touches of the game. Trefetsa. Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel Arezzo, 3-0. Another chance maybe with Wilker Farines. Vili Orban. For Matias Arezzo. Come on, Myron. Ah, you're so off-centered. Ah, he's going to come back though. Marezzo. Marezzo? Uh, uh, you know what? Sure. Yeah, that works. Myron Boadu gets his 39th of the season. Okay, if I could get him to 50 goals this year, knowing that we only have the Ligue 1 yet to compete, I'd, I'd take that. And we're going to win 4-0 against Marseille. I was scared. Don't know of what, though. And PSG won again. Lille lost. Montpellier won. No, sorry. No, 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 no. Monaco won. Lyon won. Okay. PSG once again putting the pressure on us. Uh, ahead of our crucial fixture in the capital. All right, come, fam. Ander. 
I didn't even know you were like good. You just came back from a damaged spine, and you're you've now twisted your ankle. For fuck's sake, PSG against Lens. God, we're gonna struggle. God, we're gonna struggle. It's a key game. Juan Soria. Who the fuck is that? I know they had... Uh, is that Russo? Okay, I'll take a look. Florenzi, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, Ake, Umtiti. Wait, is that five defenders? They're playing five at the back. Anara, Danilo Pereira, Buendia, Neymar, Dybala. On the bench, Arola, Castan, Diaz, Icardi, Corona, Carvajal, Mendy. Wait, who are they playing? Hold up. First of all, who's your goalkeeper? Is it Juan Russo? Juan Soriano, who are you? Your goalkeeper from Sevilla. What happened to Russo? Oh, Musso, sorry. He's not playing. Neither is Arola. Okay, interesting. Wilfried Ndidi is suspended. Uh, Kylian Mbappe is still injured. Was it? Is that the same viral... Wait, what? Currently receiving a special treatment for a serious viral infection suffered during Plymouth's draw against Wigan. What? Expected to be out between 8 and 10 weeks. Haven't you been out for like... Bare long? Can I not see like his, uh, his fitness report? No, I can't. Why? What? Okay, so... It appears that Mbappe is gone for 10 weeks. And he's been gone for 4... Is that 4 months and a half now? Yeah, nearly five months. Wow, okay. Okay, so they're playing Umtiti as a sense of mid, uh, which is not something I expected, but why not? The first chance of the game, though, will be for the Parisian Emmanuel Buendia. Uh, Emiliano, sorry, Buendia. Finds the net. 1 0 after five minutes. This game is starting on a. Well, well the worst basis possible. Throw in for PSG. Florenzi. Egerstein intercepts and plays it forward to Marin Boadu. He's going to go past his man. Come on, Marin. Don't shoot from now. A very good challenge by Kimpembe, I'll have to say. Even though I'm not a big fan of the lad. Oi, if he's not on... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, if if he was onside, that was an incredible strike. But he, he sadly is offside. Matias Sarezzo is probably offside by uh, what, two, three meters, something along those lines. Let's take a look at the lines. But that was an incredible shot, though. Uh, I'll have to give him that. Yeah, yeah, he's offside. Florenzi. Buendia. Buendia. Daibala. That's the second time we have been uh, taking that kind of pass. And this time Farines is on the ball. But we need to be careful about that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is quite simple. Tactics. Uh, out of possession. Standard defensive line. We're going to have it slightly behind to make sure we can... Um, will defend the these three rules. Half time here at the Parc des Princes. Zero shots for me. That's probably a first. Lucas Klosterman, Fran Beltran keeping the ball, thankfully. Boadu, big save by Sonano, but I was offside again. We're most likely going to take an L against PSG. Uh, I've decided to go ultra offensive or very attacking, sorry. Uh, three at the back. And the answer is, oh, final chance, maybe. Thorgan Hazard, the free kick. Video ban. We've hit the crossbar. 92nd minute, and the game is done. We're going to take our first ever L against PSG. And mainly, PSG is now one point behind us in the league table. And that stops our undefeated run in the Ligue 1. Uh, we hadn't lost since, I believe, Marseille in January. Since Marseille in October. That's our second L this year. PSG is one point behind us now. I'm sorry, did can't just beat Monaco in the final of the Coupe de France? What? How? Nabi is that is that Nabisar that played for Lyon? Is that Mo it is. Okay, so Nabisar scored and then a 93rd minute penalty. From Sergi Bolbat, the former Shakhtar and Burnley player, to send Caen in the Europa League next year. Final game of the episode. Uh, I know the episode's going to be a bit shorter, but at least it allowed me to finish uh, the season 
with the final four games um, in May. And um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have uh, what it takes to maintain our lead in the Ligue 1. A lead of just one point now. Uh, but first of all, we have a game against Montpellier, the 19th in the Ligue 1. First chance of the game is a throw in from us. Fran Beltran, Lucas Klostermann. Klostermann, Klostermann, the cross. Myron Boadu, it's... A, okay, it's, it was a massive kerfuffle, but we did not score. Jonas Omlin playing it towards uh, Konrad. He's going to get the ball and he's going to murk our defender. Konrad in the box. Don't foul him. Very good challenge by Abdou Diallo. Strefetsa. Diallo. I'm going to struggle to find the, the new centre-back hierarchy next year. Because, sure, I'm going to try and get rid of Pebern and Ranocchia. We've lost Grimel. Uh, but with Question Badiashil coming in, with Diallo being good, Sira being good, I don't know what I'm going to do next year. Alright. At least we'll have some, uh, maybe something to work with, I guess. Eggestein, Maxi Eggestein misses the target. And PSG being 1-0 up against France puts them currently on top of the Ligue 1. And Jonas Omlin is doing everything in his power to maintain PSG there. How many saves is he going to make here? Close to man, Matias Arezzo. We are destroying Montpellier right now in game. But the score is still nil-nil. As Close to man now enters the box for the 17th. 70th time today. He does get fouled though, which he hadn't done yet. Is that a penalty? Is the ref going to give a penalty? He does. He does. Myron, please. This is one of the most important penalties you're going to have to to score. Boadu. 40th goal this season, Myron Boadu. Mainly, it is the goal that puts us in the lead against Montpellier. Klosterman, Max Eggestein in the box. Don't tell me it's a chance for get on the board. Nice one, Abdou. Eggestein, Beltran. Switches it to Strefetsa on the left-hand side. Strefetsa, Matias Aretz. Oh, you can't miss that. Half-time, 1-0. We are way, way better than Montpellier, but sadly, we can't convert our chances. Strefetsa clears. Max Eggestein, come on. Propel the counter-attack. Yes, lads. Maren Boadu, extremely off-centered. Maroon in the box misses the target. We have an expected goals of 3.2, yet we've only scored a penalty. This is absolutely frightening. But we're going to take the win 1-0. Uh, hey, you know what? It's a good win. I'm just going to give that so that the boys can be motivated. But fuck me, that was scary. PSG drew. <sighs> PSG drew against Reims. Oh my god. We once again have a three-point lead over PSG. Lyon lost 4-0 to Bordeaux. <laughs> Jesus. I right, Bordeaux is becoming a very decent offensive team, you know. And it's on a positive note that we're going to wrap up this episode. We will have five more games in next one, the final episode of Season 3 of saint Or to see if we can win the Ligue 1 with Lens. Strasbourg, no, sorry, Saint-Etienne, Strasbourg, Metz, Lille, and Lyon. The final two games are going to be extremely tough. If I can seal the deal before the game against Lyon, that would be stupend, stupend, just stupend. You know what, not stupendous, just stupend. But hopefully you lads will be there for the final episode of Season 3 of saint -Yor. To make sure to do so, then please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I shall catch you in the very near future. But my name has been Blackwell. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one, and goodbye.